Now I spoke with the person who lives in this house. They don't want to be on camera for safety reasons, but they tell me that this house has been shot up two times this year. The first time happened in January and you can still see bullet holes that are left behind, but another time happened just a couple nights ago and they say someone knocked on the front door, then walked around to the back, knocked on the back door, then came, opened this window and started shooting inside. Me not bother nobody. One o'clock in the afternoon on Boyce Street is extremely quiet, but the same cannot be said for this same time a few days ago. That that went up and threw that gun over there. Time they bow, 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 you know, and and I holler you, you, and they ran. This 70 year old woman says someone knocked on her front door, then the back door, before opening a side window and shooting into her home. It made my grandbaby was running. We laid that on the floor, called the police. Little Rock police report five shots were fired and one bullet was even found in the freezer. What you gonna come to my house for shoot my house up? This is the second time, you know. This house was a target of another shooting in January that left a lot of bullet holes. But this time, police arrested two people. 21 year old Cavada Starr is facing charges of possession of marijuana, while 20 year old Kelvin Dilworth is facing two charges of terroristic acts, possession of marijuana, and possession of instrument of crime. A couple doors down, we spoke with neighbors Priola and John Lockhart, who have lived in this home for 39 years. It's scary, and I'm shocked that it happened because nothing never happens down here like that. Following the arrest, the Lockharts hope the neighborhood can go back to being quiet. Hope everything will get better. That's what we hope, and nobody don't get hurt or killed or nothing. As for the homeowner, she still doesn't feel safe. We don't stay here because we're afraid to stay here. Now, the owner of this house says her and her grandson are scared to stay here, but they just don't have any other options at this point. For now, reporting in Little Rock, I'm Haley Brooks. Back to you.